Alexa has been, I guess, collecting stuff um, and just kind of collects it in hopes that I can make something out of it eventually. And then she actually found vintage old marbles, like these guys. Um, what other ones? And then some speckled ones. These ones are probably my favorite. So I'm given the task to make something with these marbles. Um, I immediately think those are perfect grabs. What can I attach those to and how can I attach them to concrete? So I have an idea, let me go grab it. This guy, this is one of our, one of our pots, um, just a simple round little pot. We've sold this before, however, I wanna make a lid for it so it becomes a jar. I don't know how to attach this to a flat surface without it rolling around or without you seeing some kind of glue. So I th am modeling, going to model, um, a jar with actually an indent for this to sit. Um, I'm actually gonna throw it on the 3D printer today. It's gonna get printing um, and then I'm gonna process that. are done for the jars. This is the one I had printed previously. Got to take off some tape just from where it printed. Um, I'm getting away from the black PLA just because it's hard to see um, when I'm doing the time lapses. But this was printed a while ago and then what we just printed last was this one with a dimple. However, I didn't watch the first layer. I got tied up doing other stuff. Crappy. Um, I usually always try to watch the first layer just because if that's bad, everything else goes bad. Um, so this one is not pretty, but I'm gonna show you that I can rescue this one. it that piece is done um that took a lot more coats than what i thought was gonna take about six layers and then i finally fixed that busted edge that uh was ugly on this guy um so this one is ready to be molded um this is the one with the dimple and then this is the one that is just plain um so we're gonna mold those but before we do that i printed these off two rings these are just our shells that i'm going to be using um, they clamp shut right there. And then I also have a little break right here. The reason I did that is so I can actually open this up just a little bit without this buckling. So with these molds, we are going to let, let them sit overnight. Um, I'm also just gonna sit here and watch them, make sure that they don't spring a leak. I don't want the silicone getting everywhere. Um, yeah.
All right, they are officially done. There's the one with the dimple. Can't even tell that that edge was rough. Um, these are still drying a little bit, so they're a little bit discolored, but I also poured a jar. This is just the jar bottom that I was talking about. So with this on it like that, I'm um, just gonna choose a random one, like so. I like this. I just gotta glue these down. We have a couple different options. I'm also gonna make a white jar, a natural concrete jar. But yeah, we have a few different options other than the marbles that Alexa found. I'm hoping to get those uploaded here soon. Um, we have a little bit of a backlog on all these new items, so hopefully they will go up and I guess it's in maybe two weeks from the time this video goes out. Uh, we'll run a sell on those as well, so keep your eyes peeled. Follow us on Instagram. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions on any of the process I did with this project. But yeah, I'm out. Thanks, guys.